Hello, welcome back to my channel. We're back with another Christmas in July. Today I want to talk to you about some glitter. This glitter is real, real fine glitter. This is kind of a um, pieces kind of glitter. You see what I mean? I don't have another name for that. Except for it looks like it's little uh, flat pieces of glitter, like a piece of paper that's been cut into little uh, confetti kind of glitter. Well, that's a good name for it, confetti glitter. Whereas this glitter is called um, tinsel glitter. It's also called uh, like an iridescent glitter. It depends on the kind that you get. This is God, eh, it might have a little bit to it. So along the same lines, here's a glitter that has each piece is the little round or octagon type piece in there. And I think those are the only kinds I have, yeah. So here's some more tinsel, here's some more tinsel, and here's some tinsel. So with this one looks more like it's iridescent, where this is just a tinsel and this is just tinsel because it's all one solid color. This one has a, the reflection is um, different colors besides the main color. It's got a little white to it, a little blue going through it. And this is a fine glitter. This is a fine glitter. And this is a fine glitter. It's the green, bronze, and pink. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these colors and create an ornament using the different types of glitter so you can see how they look on the ornament and create some ornaments for your tree. Here I have a round plastic ornament. This is a, a three inch or this is two and a half and it's a flat ornament. And I have a smaller ornament, which is a two inch ornament. Uh, yeah, two inch ornament, but it is glass. And you can do the same thing on either one of these that I'm going to do today. So starting off with the Elmer's adhesive spray, I'm gonna take my top out of my ornament and I am going to, oh, I didn't say that. I'm gonna clear my tip here, my nozzle that sprays out. When you use this glue, it does tend to stick to around the top of the, the opening. This first one I'm going to demonstrate to you does not take a long time. You can do a number of ornaments at the same time. So I'm going to use the green for this one. And I'm gonna use, starting off, I'm, I'm gonna use the uh, fine glitter. So I'm gonna get these out of the way. And I'm gonna use the green. Remember, we've got three types of green gling ba ba do 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 do. Oh, we got th four types of green glitter. This one is like the average size glitter that you see. This is the little circles or the little octagon pieces of glitter. Here's the tinsel glitter in green. And here is the fine glitter. What I'm going to do is show you how. It looks with the fine glitter, the tinsel glitter. Fine glitter give you an idea just how it would look with the regular glitter, I would assume. So we're gonna shake it up a little bit and use this. So what I do is I spray it inside of my, my mm, spray it inside my ornament. And when you spray it inside your ornament, you wanna do short burst. And then you wanna aim down in your ornament. What you're trying to do is 
cover your ornament as much as possible without getting a lot of glue in your ornament. Now I have gotten a lot down here. All I want to do is put a mist to it. But that's more than what I want on it. Because when you get more glitter or more glue on there like that, you can't see your glitter. So I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to try it again. We can still use that, but I'm going to let that glue, that glue dry and we're going to use it on another one. So I don't think I'm supposed to shake this up. I know you have a habit of shaking things up and you don't know whether or not you're supposed to shake them up to begin with, but I think I still shake this up. I'm going to shake it up pretty good. I think it's going well. And we're going to do a short burst. All right. This is more like what we want. The glue in there along the sides. Because once you put your glue in here, you can't, you can't spray your glue in again after you put your glitter in. Okay. And I'm gonna turn it upside down. You don't necessarily have to turn it upside down but this seems to be getting a little bit more than what I want. Okay, so this one is clear a little bit. It's dried up a little bit. We're gonna add some tinsel glitter in here. So when we put the tinsel glitter in, we're gonna pour it straight down and you're gonna pour a lot in. This is not open enough, so I'm gonna take the top off, pour it in. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and give us a like. All right, pour that all in there. And what I'm gonna do is shake it from side to side. Then I'm gonna take it and roll it around. Roll it around in the container so that I can get everything covered. Then I'm gonna tilt it a little bit and roll it so I can get it more at the top of the ornament as well. Just roll it around. It would adhere to the sides of your ornament. And I'm gonna take and put my excess glitter back into my container. Because the nose, the nose, because the mouth of this ornament and the container are about the same it's easier to put me put it back in there this one so that's how it covers your ornament isn't that pretty and see this is what i was talking about with the glue but that's very little glue so what's going to happen is that's going to dry clear that's pretty and you can put your top back on here and actually it's ready for your tree but my ornaments I always like to take my ornaments and make sure my tops are glued down and I will take and put a little bit of, of um, glue hot wet hot glue and put it on there and make sure it stays secure what I don't want to happen whatever is inside my ornament if it happens to be loose I don't want it to fall off my tree fall on the floor and get all over the floor so let me see. I hear a little bit of glue, glitter in there, but I can roll it around and make sure that it hits every little glue spot and that the full ornament is covered. That's pretty. Now this is tinsel. Let's try a little glue with the fine glitter. There are uh, funnels, and I have one. Hold on, let me get it. 
Okay, I've got my funnel. And I'm going to use the funnel for this one. Because this has got a wide mouth to it, I'm just going to pour some through the funnel. Take my funnel, put it back in my thing because I'm going to pour the excess. Same thing, I'm going to shake it around the bottom. Then I'm going to start rolling it around. If you put a little bit in here and you find out you don't have enough, this is a way of finding out whether or not you have enough. Because once you put it in and you start rolling it around and you're not getting full coverage, you know you need to put a little bit of more, a little bit more glitter inside your ornament. And this is a pretty, pretty, pretty simple, pretty quick way to do your ornament decor because it doesn't take long to put the glitter in there. Put the glue in there, put the glitter in there, set it to the side, do your next one. So see the difference in these two? Where this is a fine glitter and this is the tinsel glitter. Okay, and they're both green. So I'm gonna take the second ornament, or the third ornament, and make one with this. I've removed my top and I'm ready to go. This glitter can clump up on you. So putting a little bit of uh, glitter in at a time would probably be the best way to go. And again, I'm using my Elmer's adhesive glitter. And when using this, and you're gonna do a lot of ornaments, you wanna be in a well-ventilated place. notice I'm doing short spurts and I'm turning my ornament around and I've got my no my nozzle of my glue sprayer or my can to the top of the ornament so here we go and we're gonna put a little bit in at a time because we want these not to lay on top of each other but to spread out onto the ornament. See when I said when you put a little bit in, how you can tell right away if you got enough. You can do that with any and all of your ornaments. These all stuck together, it's pretty cool when you're doing the glitter, or you can do it just on the ones that have the larger pieces of glitter. That's pretty already. Now, this one, instead of covering my whole ornament, I'm knocking those pieces down from the top here. Instead of covering my whole ornament, I wanna do the bottom half like that. Isn't that pretty? So that's what I do on um, my ornaments using the Elmer's adhesive. See how very different these are? But you can put all of these on the same tree or garland or wreath. So here are all three ornaments. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Stick with me, I've got more to come. Hit the like button, notification bell, and subscribe. We'll see you for more Christmas in July.